Oh, you're so cute. Oh, yeah, 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 it's him, it's him, it's him. I think he's scared. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> You guys. have to do this dog. Oh, thank you. Oh, Hi, Diego. A little tank thing. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're a big solo fella. What sweetheart? Ada. Ada. Nice. You're headbutting your buddy, huh? You're headbutting your buddy. <laughs> What's good, YouTube fam? Welcome back to another vlog. Um, like I said in the previous video, we we're gonna go check out the King Philip Cave. Uh, we made it into a little small community and we just passed the sign up there. So we're making our way to this so-called cave. Already? Yeah. It really was a short hike. They weren't lying on the interwebs. <laughs> right here. Cool. So remember they said it was an actual cave. It's just like a bunch of big boulders. Yeah, the formed over, huh? These are some big boulders. We wanted to check this out because, you know, this plays a huge factor into the Bridgewater Triangle. Basically, King Philip's War happened in 1675 in the Bridgewater Triangle. The Native Americans rebelled against the European settlers here. Feel the energy, that's for sure. This is the cave? <laughs> that's all it is? Yeah. Crazy. Pretty cool, though. All the formations of the rock? Whoa! I wonder if we can do a full main channel right here. <laughs> I'm joking. We would never... Maybe. I don't know though. I'm gonna come right through. Okay, let's see. That was fun. While it lasted. So what exactly does this like cave symbolize? Like what is it about? Well, from what I'm getting is I'm pretty sure this is a landmark of an event that happened to King Philip. Okay. Because there was war all over this perimeter, right? Yeah. So that's what the Bridgewater Triangle is known for is it's Native American war with the European settlers. The Native Americans basically cursed or so they say, the Bridgewater Triangle. King Philip was a name we gave the local chief of the Wapanog tribe in the days of our early colonization. He was initially in favor of working with the white colonists and establishing trades, coming over in droves, insisting the locals bow down to our rules and religion. And so King Philip started to lead the other indigenous tribes in war against colonist expansion. He was the, the local chief of the Wapanog tribe back in that day. So King Philip's cave is where he hid during key moments in war. So this? Wow. So at one point he hid here. Yeah, I see. When everything was going I, down. I um, knew it had something to do with an event. One thing I actually didn't know was the word Hawkamock was used by the Native Americans. But what that truly means is where spirits dwell. Mm. That's what the Hockamock word means. Good morning! Alright, so it's been a few seconds in the vlog, but in real life for us, it's been hours and hours. We just woke up and we literally camped at a truck stop here at MA. And it uh, seems to me the world is alive right now. And we're just waking up. Literally, this girl woke up 10 minutes ago. She can't even... She can't open her eyes right now. She can't fathom life. I've been asking her questions. Seems to me she's been in a dumpster her entire life. Lost communication to talk to the world, to talk to people. She seems like a lost lady right now. I'm a lost lady with a cat ball. I don't know. I think I'm still sleeping. I'm ready to get home to Ikea. I don't have sunglasses. <laughs> you want to go back and get sunglasses? No, I don't have any. They oh, broke. you don't? Oh, no! I know, I've been going. Well, that's why I've also been stopping at all the Targets to find sunglasses, but... And oh. no cigar. Yes, yeah, so we made it to Maine. I don't even know what this park is called. Fort something. Um, we'll figure that out. Fort Park. Fort Park. Uh, well, it's called Head Fort. We stopped in Portland and we came to this lighthouse up here, which we wanted to do last time. So we're going to make a little bit of a trip and explore. There's some abandoned stuff that way, which we're going to eventually do. It's so. just really nice to be back near the ocean. Like it, it's crazy the difference of the air quality when you're not near the ocean to when you're back near the ocean. Yeah, I love it. Like a 
automatically happiness. <laughs> happiness. And it's only nine hours away from us. I know. Which, it's, yeah. It's really nice because if you guys haven't been to Maine, Maine looks a lot like Nova Scotia. So it's, it's nice to be in Maine because it really does feel like we're just at home. And yeah, we're pretty much in a war fort though, eh? Yes, exactly. Pretty much. So it's basically what Nova Scotia is too. It's a bunch of war parks, lighthouses. Ocean. Oceano. I actually have um, a fixation with lighthouses. So I about five, six years ago, before I met Lamar, I actually did a month long road trip by myself around the east coast of Canada. So I went to Prince Edward Island, I went to New Brunswick, and I went to Nova Scotia all by myself and just drove around, met up with some friends, but I bought this book and it was all of the lighthouses in all of the east coast. So even had some in Maine and along the way. And I would go to as many as I could and I would check them off my list in my book. <laughs> so in that month, I went to 42 lighthouses. You went to 42? Yes. Oh my God, you're a lighthouse fiend. I love lighthouses. Lighthouse fiend! Yeah, look, right there. I think it's picking that up. But we were gonna do this last time and we got too caught up and fixated on the abandoned stuff that we missed it. Can I say hi to your dog? Yeah, they're so cute. Oh my god. Oh, baby. Oh my god. Oh my god. <gasps> you, both of you, you have the cutest dog. Oh, thank you. Oh. What's their name? Pada and Diego. Oh. Diego and what? Diego. Diego oh. and this one? Pada. Pada. Hey. Oh my god, Diego is so cute. Uh, Diego both. Hi, cute. Diego. A little tank, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh you're a goodness. big solid little fella. What sweetheart. Yeah, Pada. Pada. Hi. Oh, Hi. How old are they? So, she's 12. Oh. oh my god. They're really old. <laughs> yeah, they are. They look great though. Oh my god. Hi. Aww. Hello. Look, look at your little face. Look at how sweet you are. Aww. Yes. Oh, they love you. Thank Aww. you. That's so <laughs> nice. I love oh the harnesses. <laughs> yeah, those are great. Oh, you're headbutting your buddy, huh? You're headbutting your buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't do that, Diego. <laughs> It's all right. <laughs> He's allowed. <laughs> well, thank you so much. You made my day. Of course. Thank you so of much. See you later, guys. <laughs> oh my god, I love them. I don't want to leave Diego and Pada. Pada, I love that Pada. name. What do you mean? I literally want those dogs. Not, they're not her dogs. And those are hers, but like. I would like my own yeah. <laughs> now. Holy shit. Wow. I love it. Wow. Oh, I miss the bluey turquoise water. And the foghorn. Yeah. Oh, look at this view too from it, like this angle. Just amazing, guys. So for everyone who hasn't been to the coast, to the coast <laughs> yeah literally come to the coast if you guys have the opportunity to it's therapeutic 15 minutes i'm sure i've said this in so many other vlogs but 15 minutes near the ocean is equivalent to an hour of therapy because it's so good for your mental health being near the water is so good for the soul spiritually physically something about it is just like medicine like I would love to just be in there right in there I would die because I can't swim very well but like just take me ocean just take me absolutely stunning I do have to say Saya that this is one stunning view I love it and I love how the fog too is coming in and you can't even see through that I love it there's no sign saying I can't do it Look at that. I love it though, like look at the way the fog is ever so slightly just hitting the point right there. I love that so freaking much, man. So therapeutic. How is it? It's beautiful. It's stunning. 
absolutely stunning. I wonder if any seals come up here. It's probably too rough for the seals, but maybe. I don't know, there's a beach over here. Who knows? Happy, 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 happy. <laughs> we're happy today. You want to know why we're happy? Because we met dogs. Dogs. We met dogs. Dogs, dogs. I had more chicken nuggets today, and I got this really good iced coffee from Mary Lou Coffee. It was like some snickerdoodle or something coffee, but I'm really picky with my iced coffee, and mm. I like, I loved it. Yeah. I loved it. Lubed it. Oh, you found me. Yo. Here we go. Awesome. This is really nice, to be honest. And this, yeah, Fort Williams Park. That's the name. Fort that's Williams. That's this place. And probably, to be honest, probably very haunted. Look at him. Look at him. So big. <laughs> He's just like soaring away. Letting the wind take him wherever he goes. He doesn't care. He's just vibing. Yeah. Man, it'd be cool to be a bird. I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm going to be real. I hope I'm a bird in my next life. You just get the aerial view everything, you know? Whoa. Now, can I go in the lighthouse? I don't know. This is beautiful, though. Oh, more doggies. Can I say hi to your dog? Sure. Thank you. Oh. Hi, baby. This is Pippa. Hi, Pippa. And that's Ragu. Hi, Ragu. Ragu, hi. Oh, you're shy. It's okay. Here you go. Six months. Oh, oh yeah, she's um, just a baby. Hello. She's beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good time. Thank you. That's cool. I like it better from the other side. Georgian. Yeah, that's Georgian. That's cool. This is a Georgian house, the era before the Victorian era. Well, here, it could be haunted by any of these lighthouse keepers. Portland headlight, wow. keepers of the light. So, the last lighthouse keeper was. So, every so often, it doesn't look like there's a lot of longevity. Are they all dying in here? Oh, you have a point. <laughs> yeah, you that's have true, a point. eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, literally. I like the way he thinks. <laughs> yeah. Wow, eh? 1791. This was the first guy, Joseph K. Greenleaf. And he did it for five years. This guy didn't even do it for a whole year. You know what, though? For four years. This guy did it for 20 years. Okay. Oh, wow. Nine years. 17. I think, uh, I think I know why. <laughs> it's pretty lonely out here. It's a lighthouse. Gets pretty lonely, but... It might be a little bit haunted. Might be spooking them out. Well, remember that movie, The Lighthouse? Yeah. And how like they were losing their sanity and everything. When you're a lighthouse keeper, you are super isolated. You mean the one with William Dafoe and the Twilight guy? Yeah, um, that's yeah. Robert Pattinson. Robert, Robert Patterson. yeah. That's beautiful, yo. Hey, there's a, oh. All right, we just discovered something. Shipwreck. Christmas off the coast. Yeah. Wow, look at that fog. Okay, we gotta get a picture and a dress. All right, yeah. Yeah. I was very distracted because I saw pie. You saw pie? And I love pie. Pie oh my. Pie oh my. It's like a food truck with all different kinds of pie. Beautiful day to be alive. Yeah, if you guys see over there, there's an abandoned mansion. It's called the Godred Mansion. Did last time we came here, did we come and check this part out? No, we didn't. I saw this, but we didn't do it. That's why right now I want to kind of go in there. There's a huge bunker. That's literally abandoned right there. So I want to do it. Yeah, because last time we were here, we we're actually on our way to film the SK Pierce Mansion with Angelo. And we made mm. a quick pit stop here. Yeah. It looks pretty cool. So I'm loving this nice weather though. I know. I it love it. It automatically makes people happy. Yeah. Oh, look. Look at the boat. Oh, shh. <laughs> That's a ferry or like a little touring boat. So I made a mistake this trip and we went to go to Letchworth Asylum. 
and this is uh oh, yeah. this is something i wanted to cover in the previous vlogs but i totally forgot and when i went to go do the drone shots i left the specific wire that i needed for our drone phone at home so we couldn't do drone shots for letchworth i think that was a spiritual sign because when we went of course you guys saw like all those people in there exploring around i think someone notified the cops because when we were walking out there was a cop like scouting the area like he was parked facing towards all the buildings and Charles was like i don't think we should do it i get a really bad feeling yeah. right like you're allowed to walk in the daytime people take their dogs around but i think the groups of people were like really you know getting the attention of a lot of elders and you know just like so happened i, I it's just what we felt you know like well yeah pretty much like you're like you're allowed to go there during the day um you're just not allowed to be there at night or, like after dark and a lot of people like have been charged with trespassing and um i have a huge fear of the police and getting in trouble so we were gonna originally go back after paracon and go film an episode there but i woke up in the morning after having really bad dreams all night of us being stuck somewhere hiding and then when i woke up i had severe severe anxiety about going to letchworth and i went to kim in her room at the airbnb and i was like i have really bad anxiety about going to letchworth to film and she's like what's going on and i said i think we're gonna get caught by the police like i was just having bad dreams of us having to hide from people and and like run and stuff and i just i had this gut feeling that we were just gonna get caught and something was gonna happen so I went to Ohms and I said, I don't really want to like take the risk. You know, I don't want anything to happen to us and like potentially jeopardize anything that we have going. So I was like, maybe, maybe let's just not do it this time. Maybe another time. Yeah, it was just like, I feel like if there wasn't a group or groups of people like just obviously going in, you know, maybe it's like, we're like, they're already open. <laughs> they're all, you can walk right in. The issue is, I don't know if like, what people have done in the past have created like a silent rule of not going in if that makes sense it's just like a safety thing so we didn't end up doing that and i'm sorry for you guys i think i feel like me forgetting the drone wire was a sign a spiritual sign saying just don't do it you know i couldn't even get cinematics because you know so we took that into consideration so one day again we'll be back to letchworth just always follow your gut if your gut is telling you something follow yeah. that feeling because it's usually not wrong yeah 100%. you're usually feeling it for a reason it might yeah. not have been we would have got caught by the cops it could have been maybe you fell through a floor or something could have happened but yeah, just always, something always was, follow uh, your gut anyways yeah i've been in so many places where i just know that feeling and i've been caught a bunch of times so Next time, guys, I promise we will do Letchworth again. That place is, like, where the most craziest thing happened to me. So I do want to do that again at some point. Is that locked? Don't think you're getting in. <laughs> this is crazy. I feel like I'm in a desert, but also I'm not. You heard someone talk? Look more like you're in like the jungly desert. Oh, that's dope. I want a photo there. Yeah, let's redo the photos here. And then I'll get one of you. I love that. I love you. I hate you. I'm kidding. I love you. That was a joke. All right, let's see what's up here then. Interesting. I don't know what this would have been for. Maybe like storage for something. Well, the, one of the guns would have been up here, so it might have been like ammo storage. Oh, yeah, true, true, true. I love the jungly vibes, dude. I know. Oh, it's cool. You can, you can go up more. <laughs> cool. Help. Help. Oh, wait, there's stairs. Whoa, okay, okay. I see now. This is cool. It's pretty pretty. Wow, look, you can see the lighthouse. Quite beautiful. I feel like I'm on a Call of Duty map right now. Oh, yeah, you're right. Red shot. Ouch, prickly. Oh, I just got mm. pricked out. This is cool, too. Awesome, I feel it. Whoa! Hey, look! 
The boat's over there now. Sweet! Wee! <laughs> this is cool. I feel like I'm in Nova Scotia, but in America. If I were to move to the United States of America, I would move to Maine probably. Kind of figured you'd say that. Because I wouldn't, no offense, I just, I wouldn't move out of Nova Scotia. So if I had to move out of Nova Scotia, I would go to somewhere that looks like Nova Scotia. True. <laughs> Same waters, I'll tell you that. Pretty she's cool. She's quite beautiful. She's quite calming. She's quite nice. Quite nice. I rate her a 10 out of 10. I swear I saw an upper floor. Okay. So, so I... Yeah, no, we gotta go somewhere. Cause you can get into this. Yeah, you can go around this way. Or I can go this way. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> there we go. Honestly guys, now that I'm up here, I really wish I brought my phone because I would love to do a moment of uh, spirit talk or something in here. So this would have been from my experience, you know, a place where they would have looked over the coast for like enemy ships or whatever. And this is where they would be defending from. So usually bunkers like this are actually next to a lighthouse. So makes sense. They had something here, maybe like a turret. And their buddies would be over here with another tour. If you guys are new to my channel, like this channel here, what we did like a year and a half to two years ago in Nova Scotia was all of the maritime war bunkers. So we've done like every single bunker we could possibly do in Halifax because they're that haunted, right? If you guys are new and haven't checked out our previous stuff, you guys will soon find out we do a lot of bunkers. We do a lot of different types of locations than you know a lot of the other channels. And we love it. We love bunkers. We do a lot of that like historic war stuff because you know these places hold a lot of energy, like legitimately. Believe it or not, guys, this is the day after a Bridgewater Triangle experience. Now I don't know at this point, maybe the main channel might be up on Paranormal Discovery. I don't know yet. I think it might be. Go and check that out because we're standing here. We were talking about this earlier. And we're like, I think we actually came across one of the most craziest experiences there in the Hockamock Swamp ever. Like not, like just for us, like just for our own experience. Like I don't know what happened. So why don't you guys go and check that out. Hit the link in the description. I just like words can't explain what the hell happened. Like I know. It's just... I, I don't think my brain has fully processed it, and I don't think it will until I watch the video. Yeah. And then say, oh my gosh, like, that's what happened. Do we notice the outfit change? Yes, ma'am. Social distortion. You know what that yes, is? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It's a band. Yes, ma'am. Have you heard of them? Yes, ma'am. Have you heard of them? Yes, ma'am. Name three songs. I don't know. I can't either. <laughs> I wish we could go in. But, yeah, you know, but, there's a fence. And also, there's really nothing in it. No, nah, I can see it. I can see <laughs> right in there. So this, uh, this used to belong to someone very prominent. Godridge. So, there's a sign up there, and I'm probably going to butcher it because I'm trying to remember from the last time you were here. But I think he was like a big builder or something in the area. And he had a huge mansion. Yeah. Yeah, like I'll show you guys here. Again, this might be haunted. We've never actually tested it out, but pretty interesting here. I love how the grass just grows right in it, you know? I don't know, it's pretty hard to tell if there's any energy here. I never really picked up much. or felt very much. Me neither, to be honest. It's just really pretty to look at. You got even a haunted backyard, forest backyard here. I love it. So yeah, we've never actually like investigated it or tried to on the vlog, but I feel like you could get some stuff. Really hard to tell though, I just don't know. Don't I mean, it's very much. possible because it's also like the battlefield too. So maybe or like the forts, right? So I mean, it could just be like the land, all of it might be haunted. Maybe it's not haunted, but 
sorry, I have the hiccups. But maybe, maybe it's not haunted from like the owner of it, but maybe people from the fortress can come yeah, over. Yeah, like down there and yeah. stuff. Alrighty, folks. So we just made it to the pet cemetery cemetery. <laughs> For real, this is where they filmed the 1989 pet cemetery movie. It's by Stephen King. Stephen King. Yeah. Like, look at these right here. These are beautiful. Wow. Does that say 1815? 1845. 1845. That one's 1865. Wow, these are immaculate. Yo, they're like burgundy. I know, they're so beautiful. I think it's just from over time. Like they're normally white, but then over time they like turn that color. Yeah. Wow. Wow. August 26th, 1801. What's their name? Omar? Omar, <laughs> yeah. I was born in 1801, guys. Nah, it's just because, uh, it's because my birthday is August 26th. That's crazy there. August 26th. 1801 to March 23rd, 1868. Yeah, so it seems to be a pretty big cemetery. We stopped by maybe for like 15 minutes of an explore. Highly doubt I'm gonna do 15 more minutes on this vlog, but it seems to be pretty big. It spans out way down there to up here. I find it very cool because it's all on a hill, you know, so yeah. all these, some of these people are buried on a hill. My legs don't find it very cool though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me neither. It sucks. I know. But hey, it's nice. We're twinning. Twinning? But yours are Nike, mine's Adidas. Adidas suck ass. You're wearing Adidas socks. No, I'm not. Oh, smokes, man. <laughs> Around here is supposedly the staircase, I mean it is somewhere here, that they filmed in the movie. Apparently that's what we're looking for here. I think it's where that guy is standing. Think we'll so? Him, yeah, we'll let him have his moment of like, fangirl moment of Stephen <laughs> King like I want, and then we'll we'll go up there. Look, 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 right there. <gasps> oh, yeah. Wait, wait, you can't move, you can't move, you can't move. I'm really trying to zoom in here. But the GoPro sucks. He's so cute. I apologize if that's blurry, but the GoPro sucks ass when it's zoomed in. I love him. Did I tell you our live stream, that cemetery we were at, I found a headstone from 1999 to 1999. Aww. A baby was a month and one day. Aww. A month and one day. I wonder what happened. Look at these ones up here. Like, that like dark looking one? I don't yeah. really want to go up hill. 1770. Whoa! Charlotte Barner. Barker. Wow. Hold on, I gotta see that. Born in Massachusetts, Sudbury, Massachusetts. December 9th, 1779. Died in Bangor, 1848. Miss Sarah Barker died April 22nd, 1825, aged 77 years. That's the oldest one right there though, Charlotte Barker. It's okay, little guy. Yeah. Do you know where the other are It's okay. No, I just, I have it's all right. I, I would recognize them, but I recognize the steps that they yeah. kind of blocked off, so I walked over there. Yeah. 
Oh, oh you're so cute. Oh, yeah, 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 it's him, it's him, it's him. I think he's scared. What is that called, Omar? What are those? It's a groundhog. It's okay, little guy. <laughs> Still doing it. It's okay, little guy. Oh, he's so cute. I hope my camera's picking that up good for you guys. It's uh, he's so cute. I didn't know that's what they sounded like. All right, see you later. I'm gonna name you Diego. His name is Diego. Diego the groundhog. I didn't know that's what they sounded like. I, yeah. I think uh, I think he wanted to come out, but I was there and he's like, who is this Filipino guy? By my home entrance. You know what I mean? Here it is. This is it? Perfect, yeah. Well, it looks a little different. They huh? removed probably something there, eh? Or is it? It might be a different one, actually. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, it looks like they removed yeah, something. Looks like it is a different one. Oh. oh, I think it is. Interesting. Well, to be fully honest, I'm like completely drained and low-key just want to go home. Honestly, same here, <laughs> to be honest. It was a good trip. It was just like a lot of driving, a lot of like just hauling ass to random places. And like, to be honest, I miss my baby girl, Kiki, man. Barker, another Barker. Wow. Pamelia, wife of Paul R. Barker. Another Barker. Sarah Barker. Oh, those are beautiful. There are some they're other so Barkers big. up there. Yeah, they're pretty massive. This is uh this cemetery gives me a very rich vibe. Yeah. You know? I don't even know if we're allowed to drive around it. I'm legitimately so tired right now. Like I just want to get home. Paso. At this point we're gonna be getting back at like two. Yeah. So I mean maybe before that, I don't know. Still got a while to go. We gotta haul ass out of here and uh, yeah, make it back to see our baby girl. I've uh I've low-key been spying on her in our indoor cam, so she's okay. She has a babysitter. <laughs> I should have said that a while ago, but uh, yeah. Okay, so I just asked some lovely people who were in the cemetery if we're allowed to drive around here or if it's only walking paths. And we are allowed to drive around here. So since we're both feeling a little lazy, lazy, we'll take you on a tour in yeah, the car. Please. That way we can rest our legs and then we can skedaddle rattle and go home. This is where we just were. And there's even, um, Graves up there on the roof part of that. Oh yeah, like right above on top of yeah. that. Whoa, yeah. Oh, look at that tree. Yeah, the tree. Look at that tree. Whoa. That one right there. That's cool. It wow. does no justice on camera, but it's so haunting. That I find that side really cool though because it's kind of like, it looks like they're just look. buried in the forest. Yeah, you can see the, the headstones just going up there and yeah. where that lady is. So we got like a little bit of a forest cemetery going on too, eh? That's cool. Get a little bit of both worlds in cemetery forest. So pretty. Yeah, you can go down here. Awesome. Oh, yeah, because this way. Yeah. Because now that I was looking at the staircase that we were at compared to the picture from the movie, it does look like it's a different staircase. So there probably is another one somewhere along in here, obviously, that would be the correct one. Wow. Hmm, I wonder where the other one is. There's hills everywhere here, so... <laughs> We 
don't find it, we don't find it. Just the fact that we are here is pretty cool. It's funny because there's one guy who came by himself and I think he's looking forward to it. He is. He came over and he's like, were you talking about Pet Cemetery?" And I was like, yeah, I came here because I want to find like the filming locations. And he's like, that's what I'm doing too. So he also thought that staircase was the same staircase. So, I mean, maybe it was and they changed some stuff for the, the movie. But now, I wonder, because I haven't even seen the new one in 2019. So, like, I wonder if they filmed it here, too. The, no, I mean, the, the 2019 was, like, down in a forest and a house. It's completely different from the well, first that's one. boring. Yeah, the, the one from 1989 was definitely much better than the one in 2019. Let me know what movies. you guys think. I don't watch movies, so. Yeah, you do. Born 1850. 1850. 1850 to 1897. This one's born 1805. Wow. I literally like. I feel like we're very close. I know, Sam. I just don't know. Go left. All right. I'm hoping I can recognize some more. I mean, I haven't seen this movie in a really long time, but... So this part's blocked off. No. No, because the stairs that we were at this was right there hmm. on this side. So we're like probably very close, but so far. I mean, maybe that was it. Well, if it was, they removed maybe a few tombs. Which I, I feel like you can't would, do though. for a movie. I don't think that, no. You know, you're not just gonna dig people up just to have it more Who cinematic. Knows? I don't know. We're, we're clearly just both really tired at this point. We're tired. Go in the bed. I don't think I'm allowed to drive. Yeah, you are. Am I? Just don't at the moment. Come, 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 come. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so, we'll, yeah, I'm just gonna head. Out I of say we just head home. It's Sheesh okay. Boy. <sighs> yeah, so, I think at this point, we're gonna rip out of here. We're gonna have to haul ass getting back home. <laughs> Man. Yes, let's see, guys, let's see how far we are from home. Also, let's take a moment. And look how cute this is. So cute. Okay. Let's see, guys. Google Maps. Oh, yes, you're taking me up here? That's my this boy. Is oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, look at this side. It's like all like in the forest type vibes. Well, not in the forest, but you know what this I mean. This is more in the forest. Look, this is more in the forest up here. Yeah. Hi. We're just taking a look through here. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but they're all just scattered. That's really cool. I love the look of that though. It's so haunting. I know. But beautiful, you know. Alright, let's see how far we are from home. Moment of truth. Oh. Oh. Oh my land. Head southwest. Then slight left. Seven, Seven hours? Seven hours. So we're going to be getting home at 1.35 ADT, which is... 12.35. I think this is where we're going to end off this vlog. I don't think we're going to be doing any more vlogging on this trip since it's now just driving for seven hours. I think that might be very boring for you guys. Yeah. So Unless you guys want a seven hour drive, it's just nothingness. You guys can experience what we're experiencing. I'm joking. I would never I'm just kidding. post a seven hour drive. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's it for this one. We're going to have to haul ass, get back to our baby girl key. Um, get yeah. some five-hour energies in us. You've already had one, so maybe you can get a 15-hour energy in you. I think I need one. I, I'm still going to fall asleep. Like, I'm that screwed with my sleep schedule. So. We literally love you guys so much for being here with us and making another premiere. Um, stay tuned. There's going to be a lot more here. And if you guys haven't seen 
our previous main channel videos that we've been posting. Our Bridgewater Triangle videos should be up at this point. Mm -hmm. um, if you haven't seen them, go down below to the description below. Literally, this thing right here is telling you to go to the description and check it out. All right? So check out our main channels there some creepy stuff happened on paranormal and, uh, discovery yeah paranormal discovery i just love saying guys. that guys i love saying that <laughs> so we'll catch you in the next one we love you all we will drive safe and we'll see you all soon love ya peace